Oh, God. I clapped. You guys didn't see that shit, though. I saw it. <laughs> Dylan's here. Catherine's back there. And we're doing a vlog. As you can see, I got a new setup. Because I got my mic stand. Yay! I got it today. Me and Dylan went to go pick it up along with Quaid. I bought it. Dylan just stood there and watched me. Played, I was playing drums. He played drums. Yeah. I tapped the box, which was actually really fun. Not going to lie. But yeah. So, I got some topics this time. First off, went to... Ho Speaking of topics, since we're on the subject. <laughs> I went to Hot Topic over the weekend. And my sister got me this little thing. It's adorable. Look at it. It's Ezio. If you guys don't know where Ezio is from, you should probably rot in the pits of hell. Ezio is from Assassin's Creed. He's in the second, third, and fourth game. Oh, well, technically he's... second, Brotherhood, and Revelations. But... Shh. Yeah, he's also from Auditore. He's from, Italy. he's from Maria Auditore, I believe. And someone else. And his brother. Uh, they fight someone at the beginning of the second game. I don't know. I, don't forget his dad. I haven't played Brotherhood yet, so you know I probably don't know much about his brother. That was a shitty joke. Anyway, so we're doing. Ex we were just studying because we have exams. We studying. We we were just studying, but we finished now. We were playing a game of Wolf Nine Rolls. Shh, no, we weren't. We were studying. Mm -hmm. No, we we studied for a bit because yeah. we have exams coming up. Do you guys know how much exams suck? The, the the worst <sighs> part, the worst part about exams isn't even the fact that you gotta study. It's not even the fact that you gotta take a big test. That's a giant part of your mark. The worst part about exams is everyone starts handing out these assignments that you gotta finish before the end of the year, and exams are next fucking week. Me and Tyler still have two essays to do. You have two essays. No, I got an essay. You got an essay. Oh. So the we each have one essay to do. Yeah, though. my bad. <laughs> yeah. I got an essay to do. I got to create an infomercial, which I need to edit. And I got to edit this. I don't have to edit this, but I'm just doing it because it's fun. And I'm flunking photography. <laughs> I'm failing drama. How the fuck am I flunking photography? It's the easiest shit ever. You're just complaining that it was so <laughs> I, hard. No, I just don't like McClare. I need a haircut. I'm a bush. I like my hair, but... I'm a bush. I wish I styled it better. I'm a bush. Guys, talk, comment about what do you think of my hair. Comment about Dylan's hair. Anyway, so let's see. What's next in the list? So we got exams down. We got some Etsyo. Didn't really talk much about exams. There's not much to say. It's a big test, which is a big percent of your mark. And if you fail that shit, you fail the class. And you'll feel like a big piece of shit. And you're probably really stupid. Wait. Dude, the smartest people in our school who failed the EQAO... That that's EQAO and literacy tests. We, we're, talking we about past it. EQAO. we're talking about exams here, okay? <laughs> Nobody's talking about that shit. I know. Anyway. So now I have a story. It's story time. Story time Story time. Never ending story. No. No. Anyway. So over the weekend, as I mentioned, I went to Hot Topic, but I went to Hot Topic over in the Scarborough Town Center. For those of you who don't know, it's the mall in Scarborough. I'm assuming it's the center of Scarborough Town. I don't fucking know this shit. Anyway, it's a mall. Um, and there's like a bunch of stores in it because it's a mall. That's what malls do. And anyway, so we went there and we went shopping, right? Went to Hot Topic, went to a bunch of other places. And we were, we're done shopping, right? We're all tired. We're heading home because we're all fucking tired. So we're going to the car. And on our way to the car... There was an RBC thing where they were handing out these little tickets so you could sign up for your chance to win $5,000. And we're like, oh, $5,000. That's fucking awesome. So then we grabbed the tickets. Me and my dad's girlfriend sign up. Catherine's shaking her head in the background because she knows how this story ends. I don't think Dylan does. But <laughs> so me and my dad's girlfriend sign up. I get my dad to do all the address shit and whatnot. And then we, bring, we get a receipt. And we go do over to a guy and notice there's like this big Plinko thing. If you don't know what Plinko is, basically Plinko is there's one like back wall thing. And then there's some transparent thing in front of it. And there's a bunch of pegs in it. And at the bottom there's a couple of like buckets or whatever that you can get it in. And you drop like a hockey puck in there and it hits the pegs and then lands in a certain box. Pretty simple. you think. You'd think. Pretty simple. So anyway, we go to the guy and we notice the Plinko thing. And he's like, go over there and you can play Plinko. 
And it's like, holy shit, do we get the $5,000 on the spot? So we go over, and we play Planko, right? And uh, in front of me is my dad's girlfriend. In front of her is uh, this little girl. Random little girl with her dad. So her dad goes up there, grabs the little girl, carry, picks her up, and holds her up. She drops it, and they win. So it turns out you don't win $5,000. You win 10 extra entries in the contest. Oh. So you get 20 instead of 10. Anyway... <laughs> So yeah, so basically, it just, your phone vibrating. So I like that it doesn't pick it up now because, well, probably not as much because it's not on the desk anyway. Anyway, away from the story. Um, where was I? Oh yeah, so the dad holds up the little girl, right? And she drops in the puck and she hit, lands in the win bucket. So they get an extra 10 entries in the contest. My dad's girlfriend goes out, she drops the puck, it lands in the win thing. And then after both of them have gone, both of them have won. I'm just there like, the pressure is on. <laughs> like, it can't be that hard. I saw where they both put it. They put it in the exact same spot. I'm going to put it right there. I put it in the same spot. Went right next to the winning thing. And all you hear is my dad, my sister, and my dad's girlfriend. They all go, aww. And I'm like, motherfuckers. And then I'm like walking away with my head hang hung in shame. And they're like, here, you still get a bag. Oh, my God. Now I have an RBC bag. But I fucking lost. <laughs> Can we burn that later? No. I like burning no, no, phone. that's that's illegal. <laughs> it's arsenic. Burn Stop. Yada. Yeah, that's arsenic. That was, Stop. That looked cool. That was cool. <laughs> I never did that. Shh. Shh. <laughs> it used to be on YouTube. Shh. You're it, fucking. The were onto him. It, you're you fuck, can't. It, you can't even pick this up. Like, still, it's bothering me. <laughs> your twelve-year-old girlfriend's still texting you. She says I'm the sweetest. Ah. <laughs> Fall myself with the. <laughs> it's like Left 4 Dead. Are, are, are you okay? Wait. You me at six. Don't just kick the mic stack. He's gonna go. He he's stepping in piss right now. Oh. He doesn't know that, but <laughs> it's okay. I cleaned it. Yeah. It's just Lysol now. Okay. Yeah. So that's basically the end of the story. I mean, I got Wind Waker, and now that I got the mic stand. Speaking I, of Wind Waker. Speaking of Wind Waker. Don't. I was gonna say, don't fart. I will punch you in the face. <laughs> I got Wind Waker. Dylan's a, stupid. I was gonna call him the F word. But then that's homophobic. I'm oh, trying well, uh, not to do controversy here. Trying my best. So. Go on. <laughs>